Oh my goodness, I don't believe it. I think I've just figured out the mystery of the candy stripe polka dot plates. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's a beautiful, warm Friday evening here in Las Vegas, and we are at the Big Goodwill at Rainbow and Ulta here in Las Vegas. It's about 4.30 on a Friday afternoon, so let's go inside and see what they have. Let's go thrifting! So it's been quite a while since this has happened, but I've had a few subscribers let me know that they have been unsubscribed from mine and a few other of their favorite channels without their knowledge. So please do go ahead and check your subscriptions. Make sure you are subscribed uh, to your favorite channels. It really helps us out. And it also helps us out if you check the little notification bell that lets you know when we drop a new video from our channel. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything at all. Let's go inside and see what they have. Here's a cart ready and waiting for us. In a recent video, I had asked you, my viewers and subscribers, what you collect. I love to be on the lookout for things that I can offer to you for purchase to add to your collections. The response was overwhelming. You gave me over a hundred items to look for, from animals to glass to pottery. This is a piece from Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, the building. Not much demand for that, so I think I'll leave it. These are interesting candlesticks, a little on the expensive side for resale. Looks like somebody has painted a pony there. And this sweet little shelf sitter is broken on her flower stem at the top there. Quite an interesting little monkey. It looks like one of those old... Um, airbrushed fairground giveaways some hershey mugs oh look at this this is an aviators bobblehead uh their it's a las vegas sports team and their mascot is finn only three dollars these are quite rare i gather so let's pop that in the cart got some beaded fruit Another elephant here. He is not especially good quality and he's got some damage to his trunk. So we are going to leave him on the shelf. All sorts of collector plates. I think those are spode back there. I do tend to steer clear of collector plates. They just don't sell well for me and they're really a pain to ship. This guy, on the other hand, is fabulous. He has a crackle finish. I love his blue color and he's only $3. Great condition. Let's pop him into the cart. What else can we find here? Little house is a bit damaged there. Trinket box is $15. Again, a bit on the expensive side for resale, although I do love it. And uh, it's a bit uh, unusual to find them with their lids intact. Lots and lots of collector plates. This tea set is interesting. It looks like they are priced by the piece. $6 here, $8 here and sadly a massive chip on the spout. So those will stay on the shelf. This plate is quite interesting. It looks Russian, but again, all that blurb tells us it is a collector plate, $3. So I am going to pop that back there. Some dolls ethnic dolls. These used to sell well for me, but uh, I do have quite a few in my inventory, so I'll leave them. These are fabulous. 
I have a friend who <laughs> I know would like those. If she is watching, Danny, come down and get these birds, $10. Look at this whale. He's fantastic. Unfortunately, his fin is broken. $5. But uh, who, with that extent of damage, I'm going to have to leave him on the shelf too. What else can we find? Lots of candlesticks up here. Into the glassware. Sets of glasses. These are quite pretty. Not vintage though. And glasses are another thing that does tend to sit. Pretty little Avon trinket box. What do we have here? Flameless wax covered luminary. This is a Christmassy or seasonal winter decoration. Absolutely lovely. Two little birds in scarves and hats on a branch and it's a lamp. I absolutely love this. <laughs> Let's definitely get it into our cart. I'm excited to light it up for you during the haul. A little Target style candle holder and a figurine these dolphins are really fun many of you collect dolphins uh, sadly they are eight dollars and i would say that's about a 12 to 15 dollar piece look at these owls i think these are hobby lobby and they're ten dollars i would expect to get about 20 on those so i'm going to leave them for someone who will take them home candles here all sorts as always we are on the lookout for glassy baby and fire and light pieces those still are selling very very well what is this interesting thing at first glance i thought it was one of those vintage magnifying orbs but as i look at it i think this is a piece of a candle holder one of those that uh, string together with different beads and orbs <laughs> not very useful with that hole in it so I think we'll leave it on the shelf here's another bird it looks like it's uh, a bit damaged around the bottom and missing something there they're asking five dollars more candle holders let's pop around the corner here into the seasonal aisle we are gearing up here for our christmas in july all our goodwills have a big christmas in july event usually with lots of pieces at the front of the store we'll see if they continue that tradition this year having a browse here's a cloche with a nativity inside Try me doesn't do anything. I'm sure it just needs some new batteries. I am taking a minute to look high and low all the way at the back. Here's an M&M sleigh. I think this is most likely a floral piece. M&M pieces are one of those things that used to sell well, but in recent years has gone down in popularity. So uh, let's take a look on Google Lens. We'll search. This little camera allows us to take a picture of our piece and then... Google Lens will go through its database and look for matches on this sleigh cookie jar, it says. Let's see. Seeing anything, let's see, $38. Yes, it is a floral piece. Not super duper valuable and really heavy and inconvenient to ship that one. So we at $8.99 are going to leave it back there on the shelf. Well, hello, my beauty. 
I thought you were metal. You fooled me. You are actually made of resin, a modern piece, but really nicely done. $6, but she's half price sale. So only $3 on this. She does have a bit of damage, but she can be touched off. A lovely wreath hanger for Christmas. What else have we got here? Merry, Merry, Merry. Look at that font. That is a, such a classic 70s font. Ceramic ornament. Let's grab that. I'll just leave it there for a sec to keep my hands free while we browse. And see if there's anything else we want to take a closer look at. Glasses, rocking horse. He would be fun by a tree. Going to hold off though because his size is just a bit too much this soon. These are Department 56, it looks like. A whole bag of them, little caroling figures. I have a feeling that these might be worth something here. They all look to be in reasonably good condition. Only $4, so let's definitely pop those in. Here are some Wedgwood look glasses, $3 on those. And uh, some candy stripe polka dot mugs there. I still have quite a few of those in stock if everybody, anybody is interested. <laughs> Nativity pieces, looks like this set is incomplete, unfortunately. But they are nice quality. I think these came from Costco. Costco does make lovely pieces under the name Kirkland. What else can we find? Rocking around Santa. More planters and mugs. Let's see, the cookie jar to go with the candy stripe and a little gnome missing his lid. These, I believe, are Christmas Village houses. They look quite vintage. Again, these larger pieces are really tough to store. So I'm going to leave those. The profit they allow uh, just doesn't make sense for me with that much storage taken up. Look at this fellow. He's a little cow bank. An advertising piece, I believe. I haven't seen this one before. I have a feeling it's part of the Chinese Zodiac. So I, uh, just for my own knowledge, I'm going to pop him in the cart and have a look on eBay. Oh, goodness. These Sylvester ornaments are still here. $15 a piece. That is just too much for resale. And it is a lot. If you're going to buy all 12 at $15, that's, oh my goodness, I don't believe it. I think I've just figured out the mystery of the candy stripe polka dot plates. Never have I ever found a brand new set before. And here they are in the box. Ever since I started my channel, I have received emails from viewers all over the country, all over the world, asking me to pick up these plates and matching mugs so that they can purchase them. Now we know why they are only seen in Las Vegas. They're a giveaway from our very own Station Casinos. Here we are in the vases, planters and florals. Way up top here is a really interesting decanter. In fact, I don't think it is a decanter. As I look at it, it appears to be a project piece. Beautifully designed. I don't think the tap is functional just for decoration, but it's ever so heavy. So I'm going to leave it for somebody else. Let's keep going here. Always something new and interesting on these shelves. Little bulrush displays. What's this? It's a little 
candle lantern not as good quality as I thought it might be just a thin metal florist vases sweet little succulent display candle let's see here that sharp edge tells me the piece isn't very good quality I think this is a tea bag box. All sorts of planters. Looks like it's made of rolled paper, magazine pages possibly. This looks like a replica wash bowl uh, from a wash bowl and pitcher set. The pitcher isn't here, so we are going to leave that on the shelf, pretty as it is. Let's see. Back here is a seahorse pitcher that is very lightweight. Look at the beautiful drip glaze on this. When I saw it, I thought it was going to be lovely, heavy artisan pottery. Unfortunately, it is just a paint your own project piece. Nevertheless, the artist did a lovely job. It's a beautiful drip design. We'll keep going here. Some turkey candle holders. This is a lovely milk glass vase. Sadly, only sells for about 12 to 15 that. So we'll leave it for somebody else. That looks a bit like a Hager piece, but it is most definitely modern. You can tell by the bottom, let alone <laughs> the barcode sticker there. Colored vases. Be sure to move things out of the way. Don't miss anything hiding at the back. A little teeny tiny candle holder, I think, or salt dip. What is that? It's got little bunnies on it. It looks like it's part of a set. Planters. Oh, these two pieces might be the little set that goes with that. Oops, <laughs> it's hard to stand these pieces up on the wire. Let's pop that with those. Sweet little terracotta trio. Planters and bases. It's a modern piece. Just doesn't feel old. You get to know the more pieces you touch and feel and pick up and look at, you get to know what is old glass and what is modern. What is this? Oh, this is a little holy water font. These sell ever so well for me. Beautiful colors and design. It looks very Italian. I think it's $6. It is a little bit steep, but these sell ever so fast for me, really, really quickly. So uh, I can't leave that behind. Let's pop it carefully into our cart. We have got some lovely treasures already today. Let's keep going. I do like this. Napa Valley. That's quite an exclusive uh, nursery and uh, a garden center here in Vegas. That is a beautiful piece. Clear glass here. Lots and lots of florist vases. This is lovely. Very, very heavy. And a bit much for me for resale, so we will leave it. Candle holder. Vases. And planters. Let's have a look in the kitcheny bits. This red piece is a Tremaine Butterbell. Only about $10 that, but if you find a Le Creuset one, they can go for $50, $100, depending on color. This is a Tiffin Open Sugar. It's flashed cranberry glass. It's not uh, solid red. 
it is missing its little creamer that goes with it but let's pop it in the cart just in case the creamer shows up look at this tray i love the abstract trees on that it's absolutely lovely it's yankee candle only four dollars it has a crackle effect so let's definitely put that into the cart Back here is a tiki mug. These can be really, really collectible. Some brands go into the hundreds of dollars. This one is $5, Chucky Tiki. Unfortunately, it is cracked, so we'll leave it. Another milk glass piece. This is vintage, but again, only about uh, $12 to $15. I am going to pop that in the cart though, just to check on it, because I haven't seen that exact design before. What is this little lily piece here? It's a bell. It's a bell with that exact design on the side of it there. Oops, now I can't get it back in the box. Stand by there we go unfortunately bells just don't sell too well for me i'm not sure what it is any of you resellers do bells sell well for you they're really really interesting and fun it would seem that they're a good thing to collect but uh, not for me this i believe is avon lovely little floral canister with a gold lid that would be lovely in the bathroom for bath salts or q-tips this might be a little salt dip or you could use it for any condiment. I'm not really sure why I'm drawn to this piece. It might be the chintz design on there, $1.50, but I'm going to leave it. The resale value is just not there for me. Deviled egg plates, it's a nice white canister, a pig cookie jar. He's quite fun rooster cutting board for five dollars some temptations under there temptations is another brand that used to sell quite well now it's expensive to pick up at thrift stores and it does tend to sit a while it's a lobster dish made in china i believe that is another casino giveaway from our Las Vegas locations here. All sorts of serveware, dishes and bakers, very modern pieces. Teapot, that looks like it was a tea for one set, missing its cup. This is interesting, cranberry glass. Looks to be quite old. They are asking $8 for the set though. A little bit much for resale considering the condition. It's quite scratched. I don't know if you can see that. It is a lovely color though and appears to be cranberry through and through. I'm not sure of the maker and it doesn't appear to be marked. If you collect cranberry glass, come on down to the Goodwill, Altar and Rainbow here in Las Vegas. It is sitting here waiting for you. Little pictures here. Some, are they apples or cherries? Quite lightweight. You can judge a lot on the weight of ceramics. Uh, the cheaper ceramic pieces tend to chip and crack very, very easily, whereas older, higher quality pieces uh, withstand quite a bit more use. It's a fridge oh, that is very flashed and very worn. I do like those fridge jugs, though. They allow you to have water, flavored water on hand, lemonade, iced tea. They're very, very handy in the fridge. Jars, containers. What else can we find here? This is pretty, hand-painted pears. 
on a frosted little cruet. Only two dollars that. Let's see if it's marked. I do believe this is an older piece and I might just have a stopper that would go in there. Another fridge jug. It's a Christmas tree. This is a newer piece. It doesn't have the nice thick glass at the top there that the older pieces do. Four dollars. I'm going to be strong and leave that on the shelf. I know I do have a couple of the vintage large trees in my inventory. This is possibly Mikasa. Let's keep going. Bottom shelf. Up here we have a honeycomb style canister. Those are quite nice. This is beautiful. A crystal canister. Just a bit much for me for resale. There's a pair of them up there though. Let's leave those. Here is a bag of chess pieces. If you're familiar with my channel, you might have seen me a couple of months ago pick up a fantastic chessboard with a dragon on it. Unfortunately, Jake and I were not able to find the pieces, but uh, these are pretty... Uh, neutral and they would probably go perfectly fingers crossed that they're all there let's keep going in the clear glass a couple of candle holders here candle sticks oh look at this quite a few of my viewers collect pairs and this one's very unique i don't think i've seen a pair trinket box quite like this before only four dollars so we'll definitely grab that here's a matching candle holder to the one we just saw so let's do a switcheroo we'll put this pink piece up there and make room for these two there. Candle holders are much easier sold in pairs, so hopefully those will find a new home very soon. Punch bowls and serving bowls here, more deviled egg holders. Huge tray, look at the size of this. This takes up nearly the whole of the Goodwill shelf here, and they are huge. Here we are in the wood baskets, frames and plaques, having a look. The shelves are quite full, lots and lots of bits to look at and see. Storage boxes. Oh, look at this. A little Hummel mini jigsaw puzzle. 100 pieces, the little girl with her umbrella, only $3. That's really fun. I've not seen that before. We will pop that into the cart. This, I think, is a little hand-painted storage box it's quite fun these are interesting too Gobel collector note cards five dollars it appears to be note cards envelopes and little stickers i haven't seen those before either we'll get those here is our lion in the tree one of my favorite vintage prints it's three dollars hang in there it has its vintage hanger it's in great shape this is a little star also for three dollars with a hanger this one says embrace change that is excellent advice especially if you are in this reselling business <laughs> you always have to embrace change and go with the flow i like all three of these bits so let's pop them into the cart here on this end cap is another fantastic wreath holder. Look at this, it's a pineapple. The detail is incredible. It's really nice quality, $5. We found the little vintage style angel earlier. This one is completely different, equally as great. We'll definitely take that with us. 
We're in the metals aisle and I absolutely love the detail on the silver plated tray. Now, unfortunately, it's $13, too much for us for resale, so we'll leave it. Equally as fantastic is this jalapeno pepper serving or condiment dish. I absolutely love the glaze and the shading on this. Sadly, it has a chip on the stem, which is really a shame. And as I think about it, I believe it originally came with a salt and pepper shaker set. They're asking $9 on it. And sadly, I think uh, without the rest of the set, it would only sell for maybe $18 to $20 but I am going to pop it in the cart and we will recheck together the kitcheny bits to see if we can find the missing shakers. Let's keep going in the metals to see if there is anything else for us. A big turkey platter there, baskets, stackers. This is a lovely box. It's fused glass. It looks like a little house with some flowers, clouds up there, really lovely piece. It looks like it might have been repainted, but for $2.99, that glass alone is worth picking up. So let's take this with us for sure. Up here is another platter, very lightweight that, not ever such good quality. More baskets, candle holders, sconces and wine racks. Wall decor. Those are wall sconces. The little candle holder flips out. Those are quite fun. Very modern. Two huge candlesticks down here. These look like Fitz and Floyd. Yes, they are very, very large, those. And $13 a piece. We will leave those for somebody else. A couple of modern mirrors here. More decorative pieces. That was, <laughs> you see how that shot up in my hand? That was really lightweight. Little pumpkin decor. Fall will be upon us sooner than we realize. Let's see, anything up here? This is a Mary Engelbright magnetic list pad, only 99 cents. Many of my viewers love Mary Engelbright. I expect this to sell very quickly. Here is a, it's a travel journal. This is really fun. For those of you who like to journal your vacations, the perfect thing is right here. A notepad, really fun colors and images. So let's grab both of these. I have spotted one of the artists you should definitely be on the lookout for. If you're not familiar with Peter Max, he is a pop artist. He uses super bright colors and very, uh, what's the word? Nouveau images. This puzzle is $3 and uh, most likely worth more than you'd imagine. Some flashcards, little bag of project penguins. I was behind a lady in the wood aisle and I noticed she came up this way and popped this gorgeous pottery piece down in the glass section. I wanted to take a look at it. It appears to be nice quality pottery, huh? quite a good weight to it, possibly hand decorated pink uh, with an ivory color. It is $6, but it's so unique. I absolutely love it. So we are going to pop this in our cart. Need to find a safe spot for it. I think it will fit right up here in front. 
let's take a stroll through the art and frames to see if we can find anything old, anything original, anything vintage. It takes a bit of a trained eye to see a vintage frame like this one, which is quite nice. This is a very large cross stitch. It is an image of a lady cooking over an open fire in the kitchen. It is $15. That is a bit much for me for resale. The frame is probably the nicest part of it. Um, sadly, we are going to leave that on the shelf. Let's keep going. As I said, the first thing I look at is the frame. Just the state of the wood, the quality of the joins at the corners. Just flipping through to see if anything catches my eye. It's an interesting ship clock. Lots of modern canvases as usual. Many of the piles are stacked really tightly. It makes it a little bit difficult to see what they have. We'll keep going. Photo frames, wall art, empty frames. Moving into the smaller pieces here. I do like that they seem to organize by size. And over here are the really small pieces. Let's see if anything jumps out at us here. Oh, look at this. This looks like an original watercolor probably Europe. It is signed, really nicely matted and framed, Michael's. It's only $5, so we'll definitely take this piece with us. I do like the framing job. The pink, the peachy color goes really well with the image. When you find a nice piece, do uh, take a minute to double check just to see if there are any similar pieces like that uh, are often purchased in groups. Just seems to be that one in that style. We will take a little peek around the corner to see what they have in the lamp section. Very vintage hanging paneled lamp there. Smoky glass. It's a little dome shade, possibly for a bathroom. Small room, maybe a closet. I always check here just in case a fairy light has snuck in to the shades. Here on my dining room table is everything we found at Goodwill. Let's start here with the Christmassy bits. I was really excited to find this vintage Yankee candle piece. It's very crazed, which really adds to its charm. Let me zoom in for you. I really want you to see this finish. Look at that. It's like a crackle, almost crystalline finish. The trees, I believe it's called Linear trees. Yeah, linear trees. Originally $16.99. I haven't been able to find another one like this at all online. 
but it's really really festive absolutely love it i paid four dollars for it i am going to ask 25 dollars next we have our fabulous pineapple wreath holder it's lovely quality really substantial i paid five dollars for it i am going to ask twenty dollars similarly with this angel really unique style it looks like bronze it is actually resin it does have a slight bit of damage as you can see both fingers two fingers are missing one on each hand and there are a few little chips nothing that couldn't be touched up with a little brown pen or paint I paid six dollars for it I am going to ask twenty dollars I love the font of this merry 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 ceramic ornament it's so 70s absolutely lovely it's quite weighty as you can see quite large let's see does it come out Let's see if we can get it out lovely piece I paid only two dollars for it Oh, here we go. Now we can have a better look at this. It has a velveteen ribbon. Let's not break it, Tiff. Stand by. Here we go. Yes, definitely some weight to that. Lovely piece. Be a really nice focal ball on the top of your tree. <laughs> if you have a 70s theme, it's perfect. I am going to ask $20. Next, we have our fantastic flameless wax covered luminary. So these little birdies look like wax. They are sitting on top of a log and uh, they could be a candle. However, they run on two uh, AA batteries that I have popped in there. They have both a four or an eight hour timer. Um, so I really absolutely love these guys. Look like a candle. They are a battery run timed light. I paid $9 on those. I am going to ask $25. Next, we have our little baby elephant here, trunk up elephant. He is sort of a greeny blue, intentionally crazed fellow. Uh, he looks like he has a celadon glaze, that sort of color. It's absolutely lovely. I paid $3 for him. I am going to ask $18. This is Finn. Finn is a black lab. He is the mascot of our Las Vegas Aviators baseball team. This actually is quite a rare piece, hard to find. I paid $3 for it and they sell on eBay right around $35. These five pieces came in a little baggie for $4. Now this one is a department 56 piece the others are not marked they just have original price sticker of 11.99 now unfortunately a couple of them have repairs this uh, goose has a repaired neck and this little lady uh, has repaired feet it's not that noticeable though. They look lovely in a grouping. I really love the bright, bright colors of them. If you have a Christmas village, they would be perfect. As I said, I paid $4 for the lot. I am going to ask $25 for all. This is a super piece. These sell really, really well for me. A holy water font in the Talavera pottery style not signed I believe it's just a modern piece 
but it's just lovely really perfect little piece for inside the door I paid six dollars for it I am going to ask twenty two dollars I was really excited to find this Hummel jigsaw puzzle it's vintage from 1982 I've never seen one before it's umbrella girl a hundred pieces let me show you if I can the size of the pieces here forgive the shaky shake there they are I paid three dollars for her and I am going to ask $15. Next we have this Gobel note card collector set. There's two different styles of cards. Let me show you the little boy. Peachy little girl. And here is the little boy. They come with envelopes and ceiling stickers that say Gobel Collectors Club. I paid $5 for them and I am going to ask $15. Mary Engelbright always sells well for me. This is a magnetic list pad for those of us who love our lists, shopping lists, to-do lists and all sorts of lists. I love being able to cross off things that I have done. And <laughs> truth be told, when I do something that's not on my list, I even write it down and cross it off. <laughs> Who else does that? This lady is planting or she's uh, cutting little heart flowers, looking at them. She's absolutely lovely in her big bonnet. So good, so good services, sweet remembrances will grow from them. I paid a dollar for this piece. I am going to ask $12. Back here, we have our lovely fused glass box. Fused glass is absolutely stunning. And this is no exception. I love the little rainbow piece in the window there. It's a house with, they almost look like um, cacti in front, a brick wall and some clouds. It's just lovely. The box opens to a velveteen interior. It does have a handcrafted look. Absolutely lovely. I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $28. I couldn't believe it when the lady set this pot down and walked away. <laughs> it's just a stunning piece to me. Absolutely lovely. It's definitely handmade. Just super. The decoration is very unique. I love the colors. It does have a little bit of damage here, a little chippy, but for the most part, it has no other damage, no cracks. It's glazed inside and out. I paid $4 for it and I am going to ask $25. I did a little bit of research on this picture and uh, I think this might be my sleeper of the trip. It's by an artist by the name of James McCaffrey and in my opinion this is an original piece. I originally thought it was uh, watercolour but now I think it might be acrylic. It's just a lovely street scene, beautifully double matted and framed. Uh, very, very nice choice of mat and frame to accentuate the artwork. I paid $5 for it, and uh, in my research, I have found that his works go up into the hundreds of dollars. So if you're interested in this piece, do drop me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Send me an offer, and uh, this lovely piece by McCaffrey could be yours. Next, we have this lovely crystal pear trinket box. I believe this might be anchor hocking. I paid $4 for it. I am going to ask $15. This also might be anchor hocking. Unfortunately, it doesn't have uh, a stopper. I might be able to find one in my 
stock of stash but uh, nevertheless it is a gorgeous piece it's got uh, lovely fruit on it hand painted pears I paid two dollars for it and I am going to ask fifteen dollars this is a piece by Demdarko Kelly Roberts, Kelly Ray Roberts for Demdarko from 2015. Demdarko is a lovely company. They make decorative items. My favorite pieces are their Christmas ornaments. They do really nice quality Christmas. This has a butterfly. It says embrace, change, and soar. $3 is what I paid on this. I am going to ask $15. Anybody who travels and likes to journal, this is the book for you. Really, really nice travel journal. Lots of pages, lots of different colors, designs, um, watermarks on the pages. Really nice size, lots and lots of pages. I paid $2 for it and I am going to ask $15. As I said in the video, one of my favorite vintage little wall hangings here, the lion on his tree, fast asleep, hang in there, he says, definitely vintage. It is personalized, happy something, 1975 Lane. It is a Hallmark piece. I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $18. Let's visit this chessboard for a second. <laughs> I found this chessboard. Ooh, um, let's see. The, the date is on the Goodwill sticker here. March of this year. It's fabulous because it has a dragon and this resin marble dragon motif around the edge unfortunately jake and i did look high and low but we could not find the original uh, chess pieces however today i found some quite neutral um, frosted and clear pieces i'm hoping there are 32 of them but uh, uh, I shall momentarily take them out of the bag, set them up and make sure. I did my best to count them. It was a little difficult in the store, but I think they're all there. We shall see, stand by. So sadly, <laughs> we are missing three pieces. We're missing the clear rook and a pawn and also a frosted pawn. <laughs> it does look nice though, doesn't it? If you wanted it for display. <laughs> Oh, it does it does work so last but not least my sleeper for the trip uh, I didn't realize Peter Max was quite as popular as he is his work his originals go for thousands of dollars this is a 100 piece jigsaw puzzle it is brand new and sealed, never been opened. It's dated 1999. I paid $3 for it, and I expect this to go between $35 and $45. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our trip to Goodwill and the haul. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please send me an email thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item you are interested in, and, and your offer. And uh, I will respond to you if yours is the highest offer I receive. Please stay tuned. I have some fun footage of the pups running after the ball and the sweet little hummingbirds in our garden. If you're brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join our thrifting family. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. You ready?
sit there. See it. That's it. Good boy, Bear. Come on. Good boy. Bear. Good boy. Here he comes. Good boy, Bear. Mm-hmm. <laughs>